bit of a wind today, but it's quite nice. Sun's out, but it's not that hot. Auspicious start, I've forgotten my headphones. <laughs> so you might actually hear some sounds today. I'm in a field where I've found absolutely nothing before and I've never really looked at it. I thought, what a waste of time. So I come in and I come through that gate, look, <laughs> that gate there. I get a signal here which says it's probably a ring full. So I go and digs it up and what do we got? We've got one very, very, very nice clocklet. So, hello. They were here. Oh, it's got a nice pattern on it, look. Oh, yay. Good one. Actually, uh, Peter Gill sent me uh, this site with some silver clog clips. Now, I thought, wow, they were too far too poor here to have silver ones. But that's on my checklist now, Peter. I'm going to find a silver clog clip. Ha, ha, ha. But probably not up here. <laughs> I am always suspicious of an 80, 88 signal. Oh, that's settling down to an 85 now, so we shall dig that. Okie dokie, so that's spade and muck, about 9 inch. Oh, and look, it's a penny. <laughs> Oh well, pleasant surprise, bronze penny, and it is a uh, judge five. Okay, here we have ninety-one, ninety-two. Not. Not quite sharp enough for my liking, but we'll see what's okay, there. Okay, now it wasn't a sharp signal because it's only about four inches deep. I'm used to getting stuff at uh, eight, nine inches. And it is a... <laughs> it's Georgian. <laughs> Would you believe it, Georgian? Oh my goodness. This field that's no good. <laughs> you never know, do you? That's what I love about this spot. Uh, I love being wrong, <laughs> especially when I'm finding stuff. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. 92 in GM power. Alright, looks good. Go the other way. 97. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, let's go down to basic one. 98. Didn't quite like that one. Get this side and we're throwing in see in the left hand side of the horseshoe there it's throwing in iron see look that just there so I'm gonna dig it and find out that squealer mode I'm always on about look I'm in non-motion audio discrimination now just listen it's a pinpointer Dead on the target. And there's the culprit. It's an iron ring. Circular giving off the good signals, of course. With this being an, uh, an undone field, I can give you some proper uh, readings. Now that's 80. 82 when I get away from it, so... It's got that... Sort of blubberly sound, which is... A bit too big for my liking. We'll have a look. And that's why it gave that long burbly sound. There's the coin, but it isn't. It's off a ruler, isn't it? That hinge bit on a ruler. Bronze. Got a 79 there. 80. <laughs> when I say it's a bit near, I'm looking for that that very, very sharp uh, silver ping. <laughs> so, dig the sod out. Look, there's a hole in the bottom there. And it's sort of blacky crumbly. 
which tells me there's something right there. Coin ball! Oops! Yeah, look! It's a half penny. Half penny fairly deep, which is uh, why we get these sort of well, what I call lure type signals, but I'm looking for silver. I'm thoroughly bloody spoiled. <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> okay, back to normal filming. I'm on short time. Uh, I'm taking the family out. It's Friday, remember, for lunch. And that is a ball of a spoon, I think. And it was, what, 11, 12 inches down. Two sods and two loads of muck. Look. Okay, we got. A double header here. Squealer mode. There we go, right in the middle. There you go, two pieces of silver paper folded up next to one another. Flip, flip. Now, put this into school mode. Right there. Another piece of folded up silver paper, look. But when they fold them that thick, they're coming out as coins. Okay, now that's the ferrule off an umbrella, where all the, um, the struts fit into those little slots. It's lost most of its slots, but there's enough there for me to recognise it. They were keen on the umbrellas in all the old days. Oh yeah, flying car. 91.94 in GM power. Dropped it down to uh, basic to have a look. And it, it kept it in at 88. And it it's is a there. ring and it's a washer. Varying signals from 84 to 94, depending which direction I'm going. And I've left it in here. I don't quite believe this. Bugger, it's a coin. Oh, and it's a silver coin. And it's a... nineteen thirty silver shilling. You know, I thought this field was crap. <laughs> to put it in a no uncertain terms. So I haven't done it. Just how wrong can you be? Look, I'm only... There's my car on the road. I'm only this far into the field. And I, I've done this top bit. Silver! <laughs> uh, I'm running out of time. Okay, nine inches down. Giving out a really good signal. It's lead, I think. Uh, because it's round and it's thick. Giving out sort of 94, 95. Uh, and it's deep right on the edge of detection range for the uh, numbers. Starting to rain, so I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> I'm still only this far from the car, look. Uh, that's nice. Not exactly sure what you are, but uh, that is very nice. Ah. Okie dokie, I'm giving it away. Only done this top bit of this field here. Surprise of my life. <laughs> Come back here tomorrow and there won't be anything on this other half. I bet me bottom dollar. <laughs> Raining though. Ah, what a great day. See you at the roundup. Hello, welcome to the roundup. Okay, another numbers <laughs> and sounds day today. Difference being, uh, I was on a bit of new land, I hadn't done this before. I hadn't done it because I thought it were a rubbish field, but <laughs> it turned out not bad at all. So, what have we got? I thought I'd found two utensils in, in one hole, but actually they all fit together. It's a, it's a spoon. And it is a... let's have a look here. Silver-plated spoon. It's not silver, is it? No, silver-plated. There we go. Can't win them all. This is off a rule. 
there's a wooden bit of ruler here and it falls into another one and there's another bit goes down there uh, <laughs> first one of those I got I didn't know where it was but then uh, I get loads now this is a ring and this is a gasket because it's flat and I think it comes off uh, an ignition plug this is off an umbrella oh it was ages before someone actually told me what these were and I thought ah yes this is the bit that slides up and down the uh, the rod and and those are where the uh, the struts fasten onto but oh, I've had lots of those as well but usually they've got more of the indentations left little lead came from deep good signal because it's it's round and it's thick so when they say hey um, something of a 91 92 has got to be bronze no it hasn't it depends on thickness and the shape of the metal those numbers how did they put it they're a guide for the wise not <laughs> not for um oh forget how they put it now <laughs> blind obedience of fools that was it <laughs> so they are they're just guides right now cloth clip yeah good one <laughs> yeah i can't get a silver one I thought silver ones didn't exist because these are poor man's clogs but seemingly silver ones did exist so I'll have to go looking for them but nobody up my end of the woods wore them sorry <laughs> nice pattern on that one now this it's a terret it's called a terret and there's two of them and I'll, I'll put a picture on so you can see what's going on and they go either side of the saddle harness and the reins go through them. Just like that. Do that like that. Nice and dainty that, so it it wasn't that big a horse, wasn't that? It's more like a pony and trap. There we go. Coins four up. Now I'm this I'm the right side of the road as I put it. And the ground is a lot better on this side of the road than the other. So we've got a 1947 there, ship half penny. Not bad condition. We've got a 1913 George 5. Got lumps on this, I'm afraid. Yeah, 1913 George 5, bronze penny. Look at the shine on that. That'll show you what the land's like on this side of the road. Look at that. Look at that baby shine. Nice one. Wow. Those those last two silvers, the four pence and the um, the sixpence, they were all silver, but they were discoloured. This one's only half silver, but because it's in that decent ground, look at it. What a belter. Now that must have been lost when it was brand new. Look at that. There's no, there is no wear on that at all. 1930 oh baby I like me bit of silver <laughs> well when they come up like that I mean what more can you ask beautiful new coins and then this one 1806 um, because it's in bad condition I took Mr Brillo to it and just just enough to show the George the third head there and Britannia's on the other side 1806 if you put it next to a penny it's much smaller look see you know if you put it next to a penny and it's the same size you're looking at uh, 1799 smaller like that it's an 1806 half penny but there you go I hope you like the numbers I hope you like the sounds I liked me bit to silver <laughs> So although it was a very short hunt, um, quite enjoyed it. And I thought there was nothing in that field. Oh boy. Happy hunting. Till I see you next time. Bye.